Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time, we are watching a match between God and Cube, who you previously known as Little Bunny Wabbit and previously known as Dabacap. He decided to change his name once again, though this one I think is very appropriate to his general attitude, at least given the namesake character. And as hopefully God knows, if you meet the Cube, kill the Cube. Preferably with a bread M9, but frankly, weapon of choice. He'll be back. It won't stop him too much, but it's good for venting. So, onto the game, and QB starting out with a Clogibot Factory, getting some glaives out, while God going very quickly for Spider Factory, which I really like to see since Spider Factory is one of my favorite factories. I know it sounds really weird, but I just, I like, it's just kind of cool, it's kind of different. But yeah, as, as a Spectator points out, it is a bit of a strange choice because spiders are generally considered to be one of the weaker factories, especially in 1v1. But that's really a question of how well God can handle them. Now, the big thing with spiders is that they have to be set up for ambushes, and God using these fleas to try to scout out, make sure he knows what QB is up to. The big thing is that you have a bunch of fleas, set them up for scouting, and then you set up venoms for stunning the units to ambush with hermits and recluses. Or just other fleas, though micromanaging the fleas to be at just the right range to avoid being stunned by the venoms is rather difficult. However, recent patch update did give venoms damage. So it's not just... where did my music go? Okay, that's strange. I'm not sure why I don't have... Sorry, one sec. <sighs> Sorry about that. Anyway, with... There we go. Anyway, with the Spiderbot Factory, you need to be careful to not let your units die, of course. And also, you have to be careful to make sure that you know what your opponent is up to. And Venom is coming in. Sorry, I was about to say, Venom did get a damage added to its stun weapon in one of the more recent patches. I think version 1.1.9.0. And that is the version before what these guys are playing on. This is 1.1.9.9. The Venom does indeed have that damage. 18 damage per shot, but still, it's something. However, you would still would want to synergize that with Hermits and Recluses. And QB very quickly going for Zeus's on a map this size, that's not at all surprising. He is... I mean, it is a little bit quick, but it's not entirely surprising, since that is... This map is large enough that you could probably get away with that. Against spiders, though, it is kind of surprising since glaives will do just fine. And actually, you do want to have a lot of glaives to deal with everything being built up and to deal with it from a lot of angles. These venoms, for example, they have some splash to their to their EMP, but if you move the glaives around them nice, it and it looks like Cube is pretty much doing exactly that. He is doing actually a pretty good job getting around, just trying to make sure he gets rid of the fleas, trying to just get rid of what he can. The Venoms, however, are the bigger threat. The Fleas are almost more for just scouting, so God knows what Cube is up to. And Cube coming around on the west side of the map, and what he needs to do right now really is just... Actually, what he is doing right now, really, just... Well, actually, getting hit by the Defender was a bad idea, but able to get enough Glaze surviving. Laser Dread Hover behind that, stopping him from taking care of the Metal Extractor. That is a bit... Aggravating, I'm sure. God not actually building anything more from the Spider Factory right now. He is focused more on constructing his economy, less on constructing units. At this point, he does have enough units in play to deal with what Cube has so far, though it is a little bit tight. Cube is continuing to build units, getting some sharpshooters as well. I think he's trying to go for a commander snipe, actually. I don't think he's trying to directly go for getting rid of the spiders. He's. And granted, this is one reason you might want to have a Zeus, is because the Venoms will have a harder time stunning the Zeus's. But even then, it's just... You can deal with Venom just fine with Glaives as long as you're careful to avoid the stun. It's a little bit tricky, but with proper use of line move, it's not too difficult. At any rate, that Zeus going down, so clearly it didn't do especially well on its own. You have to be very careful with that. It's just a matter of positioning. And Cube trying to raid out, is spotted by some fleas. God knows what's going on, but he doesn't have any units in position to... Defend. He is, however, assaulting the southwest, trying to get rid of Cube's commander. Like I said, I think Cube is going for a comp snipe, getting some sharpshooters. And what else is he getting? Sharpshooters, Zeus's glaives. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna try to stun out the comm and then just finish it from there. 
And these Venoms, trying to get rid of the Metal Extractor. This Southwest base is decently defended, but... Well, enough Fleas to actually taken out these defenders. That would be pretty much a very cost-effective way of getting rid of that god. However, moving his commander to tank the damage from the defenders instead while the Venoms go to stun them. And Cubey, with all the defenses he has, doesn't really have a whole lot to work with it. And some of the spectators are also curious if this is meant to be a commander killer, and I do believe it is. But we'll see, though, he does have a Zeus coming in to try to assault this base to the south. He... While God is assaulting his base in the southwest, and Cubey's commander about to... Actually, God's commander being buried into the ground. Very interesting. Actually, it looks like... Yeah, Cubey just buried God's commander into the ground to stop it from attacking him. That's actually pretty clever. I like seeing clever uses of terraforming like that. It's kind of neat. Granted, since that God is going for Spiderbot Factory, terraforming in general is not going to be that useful since the spider is going around. And Cubey losing his commander right before God does both players' commanders going down simultaneously. So this is now entirely a game of units. So much for the calm killing sharpshooter, I guess. But still, that did go down, so that's definitely a huge thing. And Cubey apparently deciding... I'm not sure why he's saying munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Possibly having been killed, he's... Gonna come back and just, you know, consume his own body for extra energy. Preserving energy, giving adventure beat. Sort of thing that Cubey does. He's... He's like that. Yeah. Anyway, God coming in here with more... With Weavers now just building up. Now he needs that. I mean, he doesn't have any other way of building. His commander was everything he had for construction at that point. And similarly for Cubey, actually, I don't think he has... He has one Rector being built right now, but he had no other builders up at this point. That's... So that's kind of slowing things down a bit. However, God, having built up first, able to rebuild his economy fairly well from that Glaive and... Well, the Glaive and... What is it? Zeus, that's it. The Glaive and Zeus build up there from the start. That itself did not do too much. And another one coming down... Well, actually, the Sharpshooter coming down with Zeus and Glaive. Try to finish out the base, apparently. I mean, that could do something. And Cubey still has the Southwest Metal Extractor. He does, like, well, had a slight economic advantage, but now God has taken it back with the Reclaim. He is nicely reclaiming everything that Cubey had built up. And at this point, Cubey lacking energy as well. He had most of his economy folks in the Southwest side of the map, actually. And he is... Well, losing the Cloaky facility, the Cloaky bots, I don't think he really cares about that, though. It looks like he's just going for this for the disruption aspect of it. Or just the general damage dealing aspect of it. Against spiders, once again, not sure why you really want to just answer numbers with numbers with those. Against spiders, pretty much any raider will act as a riot unit. That's the general consensus, at least. Especially against fleas, that's definitely true. Against the venoms, I still say enough raiders will do the trick. And Zeus will be getting overwhelmed by the fleas, as will the sharpshooter. It's trying to do what it can, but it's only getting one shot in, and then it's down. The fleas, very powerful in large groups, and without a large group to fight against them, Zeus is having no splash damage of their own. The main concern is the Venom EMPing its own forces, but basically the Venoms can just deal the damage they need to. Cube not building anything more at this point, surprisingly enough. Oh, there we go. He's getting another Rector up. He's... Got his energy economy back up and running. He does have... Looks like some more metal extractors. He must be reclaiming from somewhere. This is... You know, he has these wind generators. He has these metal extractors which are being overdriven slightly. But he's basic... He has rebuilt his energy economy. Okay, so... He's back in the game. God, however, has a massive assault force of fleas. Sounds a little bit... Oxymoronic, I know. But fleas can be scary... In large enough groups. Say 100, 200 or so. And it's starting to become scary. Well, okay. A couple dozen actually can do the trick if there's no counterattack. If it's just the fleas coming in, they aren't terribly weak. They're just extremely frail. However, that frailty is going to be a major weakness here. Regardless, the fact that they can bury under the ground to see what's going on. God has full knowledge of Cubey's movements, pretty much. He did lose one to the laser turret, but that's fine. He's fully aware of everything else going on here. Fully aware of where Cubey is set up, and I think he lost a couple to the lava right there. That's a little embarrassing. And Glaive is coming in here, and it looks like... Yes, this is in fact lava. This is actually damaging the units. 
apparently... Did God get the ability to resurrect? I don't see that anywhere. I... I'm pretty sure the Athena is the only builder, non-commander unit with Lazarus device that can resurrect, so I'm not sure where that glaive came from. At any rate, God trying to defend this side of the northeast side of the map while sending more units to finish it off, but now that glaives are the main focus for Cube, it looks like that is yeah, that's exactly what he's going for is a bunch of glaives. That is going to work a lot better than his Zeus and Sharpshooter setup that was probably meant as a calm killer but really unnecessary. The Glaze, however, will get rid of the Fleas, no problem, and there aren't enough Venom supporting it to actually deal with it, so God able to push a line, but not able to push it right into Cubay's base. So with that, there's really not a whole lot that God can do without changing up his composition a little bit. Getting a few more Venoms, I don't, he didn't have any Recluses left that I saw. He is getting more Weavers, or, and more Venoms actually, he had gotten more Weavers before, quite a few, but now just going for the Venoms. That is probably the best thing he can do right now. These Glaives, they can get rid of the Venoms, like I said before, but requires careful micromanagement, and if he's not careful about it, that could actually work. The Venoms, however, are fairly slow. That is one downside. And now a Warrior coming up as well. Was an Athena built? I'm getting kind of surprised by this. I'm... No, really, where is he getting this from? It should be either an Athena... I don't think Weavers can resurrect. So I'm not sure where he is getting the Cloaky units right now. He doesn't have another factory. God only has the Spider factory. He doesn't have a Cloaky Block factory. Which means that he has to be resing them from something. Or, never mind, what am I saying? He's not resing them from anything. He's morphing them. The Fleas are getting... That's what it is. This is the very rarely seen morph feature. At level 3, any unit... Well, a lot of units have the ability to morph into more expensive units. Fleas can morph into Glaives or can morph into Warriors. That's what's going on. I, you never see this. No one ever, or rarely you see this. You see this, see this sometimes, especially with more expensive units, light vehicle factory gain to tanks and such. But Fleas, they get a lot of experience very early on due to their low cost. Pretty much one kill will get them enough experience to morph into a Glaive. You need three experience bars to see the veterancy here. You need three of those to morph. And fleas basically get that just for one kill. Any flea that gets a kill can pretty much become a glaive. Any glaive that gets two or three kills pretty much becomes a warrior. And this warrior here can move, morph into a Zeus at any time it wants to. It does require paying for the remaining metal cost. But you don't need the factory for it, which is kind of convenient. And that warrior is coming in handy since warriors do deal with glaives very nicely. So God cleverly using that morph feature and cleverly building a bunch more fleas, I guess... Just have more fodder for morphing. The sharpshooter, however, able to... Well, trying to get rid of the warrior. Not really able to kill anything. Able to get rid of a lotus, but another one in back. And we have a defensive front built up. Fleas coming in to try to see what they can get. The Venoms are dealing the most of the damage, but the Fleas looks like they're still trying to get some lucky shots in. And here comes the warrior to finish everything off. Getting rid of these glaives, no problem. With Venom support, this is... Just beautiful for God, and falling apart for Cube. And that warrior, however, is taking a lot of damage. It's nearly gone down. It could become a Zeus if it wanted to. I don't think that God's going to do that. I think he's quite happy with it being a warrior. And it's doing a great job as a warrior. It's countering the Glaze very nicely. But I think... There we go. Now it's gone down. He'll need to morph another flea into there in order to get that going again, but... Once that happens, or if that happens... Actually, even if it doesn't happen, that was a lot of Glaives he took out. And that helped push him forward, helped secure his position, and also helped distract from this assault to the southwest. So Cube is not even stopping this, and at this point, God has doubled the economy of Cube. He's spamming it entirely on Fleas. Or, well, Fleas built very quickly. He's getting 20, built, 20 metal into this factory just to pump out Fleas, like, one per second. Fleas do cost 20 metal each. So, one per second, he is just... Pushing these fleas out. And like I said before, 100 fleas? Very scary. Or at least if you, there's no splasher against. And these sharpshooters doing it. These sharpshooters are okay against single targets, but against 100 fleas, they aren't going to work. And Hermit's coming in. A nice thing to have built up. And they will basically clear this up. I think he probably end up morphing one into a crab if he doesn't build a crab directly. No, no crabs in the queue. Just one Hermit after 15 or so fleas. And here comes another Hermit coming up. Venoms as well, but that is... 
That is still pretty powerful. A nice flank coming in. These glaives are getting flanked by the Venoms. If they try to retreat, the Venoms are after them. Otherwise, the Fleas are getting them. The Fleas are not really a threat to the Glaives in these numbers. One at a time, not a big deal. But these Glaives are going down to the Venoms. They are all going down to the Venoms. Nothing is coming to save them. Some Zeus is trying to save them, but that is not going to be enough. The Sharpshooter as well will not be enough. There is really nothing that can be done at this point for those Glaives. But it doesn't really matter at this point. Kyube, the big story for him is the lack of economy. He lost the Southwest base, and he's only got the northwest and west. That's it. He has very little going for, for economy. God, on the other hand, has tons going for economy, a lot going for units, and I think at this point it is moving in for the kill. Getting rid of these Zeus's. Taking it out with fleas. There we go. Now we have, well, dozens of fleas showing how scary they can be. The permits, however, not having the Venoms near them. They need the Venoms in order to actually hit the Glaives. Cubase Glaives being able to get away without doing anything. And... Back to pointing out the lack of recluses, I'm actually not terribly surprised. I mean, they aren't a bad unit, but at this point, he does have the Hermits built up, and I don't think there's really enough units that are coming out of Cubase Factory to justify getting the recluses. There certainly aren't, aren't enough defenses that require the artillery presence. The Hermits are probably do just fine, the Venoms are certainly doing just fine against the Glaives. The big thing you'd have to worry about is getting through defenses like this, and the Hermits Five Hermits or so, that should deal with it, no problem. Especially if the Venom's actually come in and stun it, though we did lose a Venom or two on the approach. But still, they are in place. The turrets are stunned, and Cubay trying to take care of some of God's Economy towards the south, and not doing a terrible job of it. God's Economy was actually a lot of it based on Reclaim, but he has so much map control at this point that all he needs is just to send a Weaver around, rebuild those metal spots, and that will be game. Actually, it is game pretty much now. God coming in. He has reclaimed once again, and he is just pushing out. Well, he had reclaimed for a second, but it doesn't matter. He is finishing this. Moving into the main base, taking on that last laser turret. The defender going down to a couple hermit shots. Warrior being built up for Hubei, and that's not going to be enough. Great idea, though, but unfortunately, the Venom will be able to stop it. No, it's actually out of range. The Venom not quite able to deal with it, but the... Hermits certainly are able to. That's not going to work. Yeah, that's definitely... Well, that's game. Kyube has lost this. He's slow a battle of attrition, but that is it. Kyube has resigned. Thrown in the towel, and... God has won. So that was certainly more interesting than the last couple games, and I hope you enjoyed that. And that will be it for me tonight. So have a good night, everybody.